Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update to show you a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South for tonight. Winter weather, yes, a lot of it. Definitely not. We're not seeing this latest storm system add up to its latest potential, so there's just not a lot to talk about for this evening, but there still could be an occasional slick spot out there as we go into the rest of the evening. We'll talk more about that on Storm Tracker 3S Radar. We'll talk a little bit more about how you can get ready for severe weather and your forecast into the week ahead. I really hope you like variety because you're going to be getting a lot of that coming up within the course of the next couple of days. So if you don't like the cold weather, that's great. We'll be getting some much nicer temperatures in here and we'll also be taking a look at some cooler weather again so up and down on the temperatures so nothing like a little variety to keep things interesting welcome to weather overtime this is our online exclusive video weather blog thanks to everybody for tuning in and joining us for tonight if you can't stick around for the whole forecast that's okay We've got information about the forecast in the blue bar right down here scrolling along at the bottom of the screen or if you'd like information about our seven day forecast go to this website address wreg.com slash weather Let's see where everybody's from. Drop your location. And if you've got a weather report, love to see temperature, wind speed, cloud cover, rainfall and the rain gauge, stuff like that. If you got that weather station for Christmas or the holidays, let's see what's going on at your location. Give us an idea as to where you are in the Mid-South, just generic location. I don't need an address or anything like that, but city and town would be great. And if you got a weather report, love to know a little bit more about what you're doing out there. So again, find out more about that. and We'll pass those along to you as we go along. And if there's anything on here you'd really like to see, again, my email address, austin.onic at wreg.com if there's something on here you really like to see. Let's go ahead and take a trip around the Mid-South and see what's going on with some of the weather bug cameras out there and other cameras as well. Crosby Hall Cam looking at the Student Union on the Ole Miss campus and fairly dry at this time. A lot of people out and about for this evening, but not a lot going on at this point in time for anything involving precipitation like rain or snow or anything showing up here, so looking pretty good at this point in time. Uh, Jennifer Hall Barrasso, hope I'm saying that right. Hernando, 34 degrees at the Kroger in Hernando. Sounds pretty good. Uh, weather for Bethel Springs, Tennessee. Kathy Steen, we'll talk about that coming up just a little bit. 34 degrees in Horn Lake. Steve Buckner, thank you very much uh, for that one. Dawn Raymond, winter weather question mark. We'll answer that question in just a little bit, so stick around for more on that. And a lot of other people checking in from around the Mid-South. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in for this evening across much of the Mid-South area. Currently downtown, this is some of the clearest weather we have seen in quite some time. We're just not getting anything in the way of fog or heavy amounts of rainfall out across much of the area. So things, again, pretty quiet for right now. Should be staying that way into the rest of the evening. And Let's see, tune back in here for just a second. If you've never seen this before, right about usually right after the top of the hour, Big River Crossing starts off a bit of an animation going on about 7, 8, 9, and 10 o'clock. So kind of neat to see this. If you'd like to see an animation like that, head to my Instagram page and you'll be able to find out a little bit more about what that looks like in time lapse anyway. So kind of cool to see that in motion for this evening. Germantown tonight around Poplar Pike and Germantown Road. Not bad visibility for right now. Low clouds, and we can see some of the lights of the towers at Poplar and Mendenhall just across the street from Germantown High School. Again, things pretty well on the chilly side for right now. Munford is cold. Katie Cook Whitney, thank you very much for that one. 30 degrees in Piperton, Tennessee. Renee Hurley, thank you very much. 33 in Hickory Hill. Lynn Scranton Falanga. Falanga, hope I'm saying that close to correctly. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Vince Tetwan, hey, welcome from Kansas City, Missouri, friend of mine from Topeka West High School, 30 degrees in KCMO. Thanks for checking in there, Mr. Vince, and good to see you on here for tonight. Olive Branch, Mississippi, 35 degrees. Jim Jones, thank you very much. 32 degrees in Cordova. Ashley Nicole Williams, 34 in Jackson. Amy Cisco Harrison, a lot of weather reports tonight. And 32 degrees. Stephanie McDonald in Middleton, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. 32, right at freezing in Germantown. Winds out of the northwest at 14, so wind Wind chills this evening. A little bit on the brutal side out there, back in the lower 20s for right now. Mostly clear skies around the area where it comes to fog at I-240 in Poplar. Got cloudy skies up and above and a little bit of a breeze showing up here, a little bit of condensation on the window of the camera at I-240 in Poplar. Memphis International Airport, good clear view for right now. No major problems being seen at this time. We've got cloudy skies overhead and some breezy winds, but this icon showing again delays of 15 minutes or less, so we're not seeing much of a problem here. 
JFK and Newark on the East Coast getting, again, some delays showing up at this time of 45 minutes plus. Pretty normal for Sunday evening, unfortunately, for travelers out there, but otherwise green icons showing up at major and connecting airports across much of the continental United States for this evening, so looking pretty good for right there. See, minus 21 in Williston, North Dakota. Jack Armstrong, thank you very much for that one. 30 degrees, April Kelly in Dyer, Tennessee. Thank you very much. 23 in Springfield, Missouri. Wendy Nichols Gregory, say hello to my friend Laura Schultes and Jeff Fry, who live up in or around that direction. Uh, thank you very much for checking in from Springfield at this point. 44 in South Texas, around Alamo, Inez Adams. Thank you very much for joining us from that, that direction. 32 in Bihalia, Sandra Lancaster. Thank you very much. And 32 in Middleton, Teresa Esther. 34 in... Uh, Savannah, Terry Connor Wright. Thank you very much, for everybody, for those weather reports. Light amounts of precipitation showing up. We've ramped up the sensitivity. <clears throat> as excuse me, as much as we can on this, and the heaviest amount of activity by far. Looks like it is over portions of northwest Tennessee, up around Dyersburg. Pink and purple indicating, again, sleet or mixture of freezing rain and sleet taking place here and developing, making its way toward the Tennessee River Valley. But beyond that, we don't really have a lot going on at this time. Likewise, outside of what we're picking up in Shelby County, just not that much going on outside of a couple of echoes in northwest Mississippi for this evening. So light amounts of precipitation out there and a little bit more activity, not by much, developing down into around the Delta area, west Mississippi and southeast Arkansas, getting a few echoes showing up. This storm system is just not really able to live up to its potential for tonight, mainly because of the fact that the moisture on this area is so very limited. There is going to be that potential of some more winter weather. There's some snowfall back around Mammoth Springs and back around Lawrence, Clay, Green, and Randolph counties in Arkansas. Southeast Missouri picking up a little bit of snowfall, as you can see in the gray and white colors here. But beyond that, we just don't really have all that much. And as we go out to the regional view and use the sort of uh, patchwork quilt of radars out there to enhance the sens sensitivity even more. You can see again this latest line coming through here is just not much in the way of a lot out there. It's got some snow and ice several thousand feet up but it's falling into relatively dry air so the dry atmosphere kind of ripping those water molecules apart and there's just not that much moisture to begin with. Now if this stuff down here in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, these showers and thunderstorms, if these were a little farther to the west, I would be a lot more worried that we'd be seeing more of an ice storm potential for tonight, but that is not going on at this time. We've just got cold air and limited amounts of moisture, so I would say that for right now, the main thing we're going to be looking at is going to be maybe a few slick spots for the boot heel, northeast Arkansas and back into northwest Tennessee for the next couple of hours. Beyond that, I don't think we're going to be getting too much of anything else. We're not even receiving any reports of anything on the ground for tonight, so there's just really not that much going on where it comes to this precipitation. Now, temperatures are lined up pretty right exactly where they should be at this time for anything involving frozen and or freezing precipitation, stuff that's already frozen like sleet and snow or freezing precipitation like freezing rain. We're very close to that, either side of the freezing mark for right now. Most of this came down early this morning around midnight, so just light areas of sprinkles. Nothing going on, as you can see at this time, that is actually collecting or able to be measured. So we just don't have, again, a lot of activity going on uh, into and around the area for the most part. So dry conditions out there. Everybody asking about the various locations. If you live north of I-40 in the next couple of hours, back into around, say, Covington, Dyersburg, Ripley, Tennessee, Blytheville, Jonesboro, Harrisburg, probably around Forest City, Arkansas, and the Boot Heel, you're going to get the best possibility of anything involving anything in precipitation purposes. But right now, it just does not look like we're going to be getting too much of anything else, especially along and south of I-40. Light scattered echoes for rainfall. That's the green that you're seeing here. Really just not looking at a lot at this point. So yes, winter weather. No, we're just not getting that much of it for right now. And temperatures are going to remain chilly into the early morning hours. All right, let's run the numbers into the rest of the evening and show you that by News Channel 3 at 10, 
that minor amount of precipitation will be sticking around mainly west Tennessee and eastern Arkansas. More fractured areas of precipitation southeast Arkansas through northern parts of Mississippi. And that might linger into around, say, midnight Monday and just afterwards. But by the time Todd Demers is on the air for daybreak into Monday morning, that's going to be about it for the precipitation. What there was of it wasn't that much of it. And anything lingering into tomorrow just really does not look like it's going to be sticking around for any time for into the morning. So maybe a slick spot or two, Dyersburg through about Jonesboro. But beyond that, I'm just not seeing too much of anything, especially as this air coming in behind this system is going to be decently dry. So just, again, not that much out there for now. Uh, Angel Swinney, hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for the update. Very glad to present them to you. Gosnell, Arkansas, 30 degrees. Sharon Crowell, thank you very much uh, for that one at this point in time. Uh, Vince Tetuan, again, a good a bit of information. Check on your neighbors. Uh, a little up there in age, always a good idea. Again, we're all neighbors to each other, so something to think about there. Thank you, Mr. Vince, for suggesting that one. Keisha Whitfield Slater, thanks a lot for tuning in to our updates from News Channel 3. Thank you very much on that. Gene Britton Geary, Tipton County, I'm assuming. Again, just not that much outside of a few areas of maybe just some light precipitation and really not much more than that at this point. So, not much, again, coming up. Our direction. Don Raymond, no warming anytime soon? Hang on a second. We'll answer that question coming up here in just a little bit. Now, into the rest of Monday, drier anyway, so we'll be seeing a little bit more sunshine coming our direction. But then, as we go toward Tuesday, down in this direction, you're going to notice the possibility of some more precipitation. First of all, the clouds make their way on through. And then by Tuesday evening, more chances of rainfall head through. So most of Monday should be dry. Most of Tuesday should be dry. After that, we're setting ourselves up for what looks to be a pretty soggy forecast coming on through. Again, the numbers for tomorrow, mid-40s, we may see that possibility of light freezing rain and sleet into overnight. We're just not looking again at really all that much of it for right now. And again, Dyersburg to Jonesboro, that's going to be your best bet of any slick spots on, say, bridges and overpasses and really not much more than that. Now tomorrow around rush hour, Todd Demers on daybreak again, mostly cloudy, partly cloudy as we go toward afternoon. So this will be the chance of moisture that we see very early in the morning and just not that much of it out there. Now by Tuesday, the day is going to be kind of back and forth cloudy. Not much more than, again, a few clouds out there early in the morning. More clouds after that. More chances of rain as we go into afternoon. And back in the mid to upper 50s, mid to upper 60s as we head toward Valentine's Day. Unfortunately, we're also going to have to throw in the possibility of thunderstorms, so taking your significant other out for dinner and a show, it is going to require probably the umbrella. doesn't look like severe weather right now, but at this time of the year, we really need to pay attention to that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on that. Chances of rainfall continue. If this is too cold for you, how about some 70s? Welcome to February in the Mid-South area, again, where the numbers just kind of keep on changing from day to day. Cooler air sets in early Friday morning, back to near normal, back in the lower 50s. This is going to be about 20 degrees above normal or so, somewhere in there. And then back in the 50s as we head toward next Sunday. Not seeing much in the way of very cold weather and no winter weather out there for right now, so we got plenty of rainfall this time. Last November, usually one of our rainier months of the year, was pretty dry, so we're kind of making up for this at this point in time with a lot more rainfall coming on through. And pretty scattered showers out there for the most part. Again, the best possibility of anything dry will be tomorrow and early on Tuesday. After that, every single day, all the way through next weekend, has at least some chance of rainfall out across much of the Mid-South. So again, we've got some very mild temperatures, but if you don't like mild temperatures, we'll draw the numbers back down again as we go toward Friday and Saturday. So again, this looks to be way above normal for right now, kind of spring-like, but we're not quite done with winter weather just yet. Still have the potential as we go into March, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 again for more on that. We'll keep you updated on that for right now. Now, if you'd like to know more about severe weather, your opportunity to learn more is coming up starting this week, this Tuesday, in Sumner, Mississippi at the Emmett Till Interpretive Center, starting at 6 p.m., 
Again, this is this Tuesday, February 13th. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, what to do beforehand, what to look for during severe weather, and what to report back to the National Weather Service, these are the courses you want to take. They are totally free, paid for by your tax dollars, my tax dollars, one of the best ways our tax dollars have ever been spent, in my not-so-humble opinion. So if you'd like to know more about this, all you have to do is show up for the class Take it. It lasts about an hour, hour and a half total out of your time. Great opportunity to ask questions from the National Weather Service meteorologists and personnel. And again, kids I've seen about as young as eight or nine years old, especially if they have an interest in weather or you got kids out there that are kind of anxious about the weather. This is a great opportunity for them to ask questions and get kind of control over what seems to be an uncontrollable situation. So, again, great opportunity to learn more. First four meetings taking place here. There's about a baker's dozen of them coming up within the course of the next several days and weeks. Where's the one for Memphis and Shelby County? Not on this list yet, but it will be. Again, Win Arkansas, next Tuesday, February 20th. Next Thursday, not the upcoming Thursday, but next Thursday, 6.30 p.m. in Lexington, Tennessee at the Henderson County Emergency Operations Center. And Thursday, March 1st, Trenton, Tennessee at Gibson County EOC. The one for Memphis and Shelby County, we will post that coming up over the next few days. But time to get ready for severe weather. Now is the time to get ready for severe weather before anything starts happening. So if you'd like to know more, great opportunities right here in the Mid-South. Catch the, my forecast throughout the rest of what's left of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And of course, I'll have more with Bob and Josh coming up on Talk Back Live bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. If you can't get them on AM 730 in the metro area, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. And of course, our own weather expert Todd Demers will have more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak that starts bright and early early at 4.30 a.m. Coming up in just a little bit on my Facebook page, we'll have an update here in just about 10 minutes or so, whether where the troops are. If you've got friends, loved ones, families serving in military posts around the globe, we'll take a look at some of them out there and give you an idea as to what's going on with weather into and around much of those areas of the country. Great way for those of us on the home front to kind of keep track as to what's going on with loved ones overseas. And weather is a great way to connect with that to see, again, a little bit more about what's happening happening in those areas. If you'd like to know more, tune into my Facebook page. That'll be coming up again just after 8.30 tonight. And again, that's at facebook.com slash WREG. I'm available on all these social media networks, and we've got tons more information available. Again, if you're just tuning in and joining us right here at this website, WREG.com slash weather. We'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Mike Sadie's got a busy day for you wrapped up in sports. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news, and yours truly will have more coming up on your weather forecast and if there's any hope of any winter weather out there tonight of any significant nature of which the answer right now appears to be almost an entire big goose egg so we'll see how well that works coming up here almost not quite stay tuned for more on that on news channel 3 at 10 todd demers in the morning and more throughout the rest of the weekend and into next week at wreg.com slash weather live and direct from downtown memphis tennessee i'm meteorologist austin onyx stay tuned for much more with news channel 3 on air and online